Neon is an absolute bum low life of a human and in this video I'm going to show you why. Everyone remembers Neon, he's the Twitch streamer who just doesn't shut up. He initially rose to fame when he had a live stream with Andrew Tate and went absolutely ballistic threatening Tate like as if he was going to do something about it. Neon was that classic nerdy keyboard warrior. Then he started doing live streams with his OnlyFans girlfriend and we all knew that that relationship was completely fake and fabricated in order to inflate her OnlyFans numbers from all the little simps, nerds and little wormy virgins that are subscribed to Neon's YouTube channel and who watches live streams. Lo and behold, they eventually broke up and despite all the crap talking that Neon has done, all the online trolling, I was willing to give him a break because he started doing some boxing training with Sneeko and he looked fairly okay to be honest. And as you guys know on this channel, we always cover beginners getting into boxing. My main message on this channel is lift weights, get in great shape, start a martial arts or combat sport and become the best version of yourself that is the overarching brand message of this channel so i was really happy that neon was getting into boxing i believe it's one of the best ways to get over breakups you've got that horrible knot in your stomach the lump in your throat constantly so you need somewhere to channel that energy one of the things that i always done after the breakup is i got my ass to the gym i lifted weights i done me kickboxing and i focused on earning more money and getting me business life together and right now i'm in a great position to the point where all my exes wish they were back with me come on let's go <laughs> oh you all want to be with shawnee now that i'm up but he didn't want me whilst i was down Cause all. <laughs> well, he's only gone and spoiled all that progress, hasn't he? He's just shown his true colours once and for all. If you can't remember what Neon used to be like, let me give you a quick little refresher. And these clips were put together by Pyro Live. So big shout out to this guy. What did your dad do for it? He works at a Walmart warehouse. Are you me? I genuinely hope someone comes to your house and shoots you in the head. Anyone who sees me IRL, I will give you a thousand dollars if you beat my bro. I'm untouchable, bitch. So that's Neon in a nutshell for you, and that's only a sample of what he's like. But here's the thing, when pressure is applied to someone, that is when the true version of them will come out. It's easy to be nice and to put on a poker face when everything is cushy and comfortable and you're not being pressed and there's no pressure. But the moment that you're backed into a corner or someone applies that pressure to you, you will return to your default setting. You will revert back to your baseline character traits. And what I'm talking about is this right here. I'll have to censor it because it's not good. It says, Neon threatens to dox and grape a little K-I-D. You heard that right? So Neon was doing some sort of live stream. I don't actually care about this subject enough to go into the fine, intricate details and do a documentary style video on why they were streaming together. I'm also just talking about the overarching principles of becoming a man and being a decent human being. And this right here is a perfect example of what not to do. That's why we react to this type of content. So this kid does to Neon what Neon used to do to other people. Let's watch the interaction. I'm going to have to censor this a lot. I tried to be nice to you, bro. What the f*** up. I'll beat the sh out of you and your fat girlfriend, bro. What the f***? That fat sl I'll smack her in her face too, bitch. And oh god, I'm about to dox your entire family. What's your name? I'm not doing shit. What's your name? Come suck my dick, bro. You a bitch. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Kizzy, bro. My name's Kizzy. It says what's your, it in my what's your name. What's All I need is your first name. You're done. I don't care. I'm an internet warrior. What's your name? What's your, what's your first name? What's your first name? Tell me your first name. I don't give a fuck. You're 10 years old. I will fuck you in the ass. Please bleed. I swear to God. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, so we got two lovely humans having a beautiful exchange here. First off, that kid has got an absolute dirty mouth. I think he's 15 years old. How old is he? I think he's like 15 years old or something like that. This kid shouldn't be speaking like that. If that was my son and I randomly come across this clip, right, he'd get grounded for a month. He'd get a smack on his ass. And he'd have whatever entertainment system he's got taken off him. And he'd also have to do 100 press-ups a day, do chores around the house. And he'd have to come to me gym every single day and clean up weights after everyone. If my kid wants to be a Twitch streamer, he wants to be a YouTuber, fine, so be it. Just make sure you're yourself. Don't try and be something you're not for the sake of clout. I would rather grow slow based off me being me, my actual authentic personality. Okay, it's dialed up a little bit. I'm not going to be like this on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm having a regular conversation, but me Point being, I'd rather grow slowly, be in myself, than go super, super viral, build a super fast audience of a bunch of kids who find this crap funny. But the catch is, it's inauthentic. It's not in line with my true character. And you could say, yeah, well, the kid's 15. He hasn't got a true character yet. No, no, that's BS. This kid right here is on his way to being a little rat. And who laid down the foundation for him? This one on the left, Neon. He laid out the template. Get online, 
chat sh- threaten people, scream at the camera, all of a sudden you're making a few hundred grand per year. It's insane. Anyway, regardless of all that, Neon threatens to dox him. If you don't know what doxing means, maybe my younger audience, it basically means leaking someone's identity and address and personal details. So the good thing is, Neon was banned from Kick. I don't know how long for, but it wasn't really looking good for him. Then all of a sudden, he released this video on his YouTube channel. I'm sorry. And I love the like to dislike ratio there. 18,000 dislikes. And for anyone who always says, how do you see the dislikes if you've got google chrome download the return youtube dislike extension so i haven't watched this yet let's see what this young man so i haven't watched this yet let's see what he's saying what's going on guys um i wanted to um sit here and genuinely talk to you guys about what's been going on these past few days and um really recap and apologize for everything that i've done and the mistakes i've made as a person you know in my career i've made a lot of mistakes and i've made a lot of um you know bad decisions but um, that was by far one of my worst things that I've ever said or done. And I want to sincerely apologize for what I said. That was not something that comes out of a person like me's mouth ever. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I mean, I've just kind of got to stop it there. The start of this apology made it seem like it was going to be completely genuine. His tonality, the way he was speaking, the things he was saying. I was like, all right, okay, fair play. The fact that he said, this is not something that would ever come out of my mouth. I would never speak like this. That is how he has built his audience. That's how he's got all of his clout, is being like that. A kid get in my head, and when he talked crazy to me, I just, I blacked out, and I didn't realize what I was doing, and I want to sincerely apologize. I'm not that type of guy. I'm not that type of person. And <laughs> You are. You are exactly that type of person, and that's what I'm saying. When you are pressured, that's when your true character will come out. Now, to be fair to Neon, if some little kid was speaking to me like that online, you know, I'd certainly give him my thoughts, but I'd give him my thoughts from a mature perspective, and I get, look, it's easy for me to say, I'm 35, Neon is, what, 20 or something? I don't even know. He's, he's a kid. He thinks like a kid, but, I mean, when I was 20, would I have acted like that? Definitely not. He said he was going to grape the kid. And I know it's just a joke, it's just a basic threat, but it's a freaking kid. You said some nasty things to him and you said you was going to dox him. He basically done to you what you do to other people. That type of guy, I'm not that type of person. And um, I understand why I got banned and I understand the reasoning for it and everything. And I know everyone's happy and stuff, but um, I want to say I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm really, really sorry. And I want to shout out to um, Kick for giving me another chance and... and um, you know, always being there for me. I really appreciate you guys and all the loyals, everyone that slid for me and said all these things about me and try to um, make the band less and everything. I really appreciate you guys. I really do. And I wanted to um, say this was an eye opener for me in my in my eyes. Um, and I, It was an eye opener in my eyes. I'm not gonna um, make anything bad like that happen ever again. I'm not gonna do anything like that ever again. And I'm gonna um, go on the right path as a person and become a better man. Is he though? Most likely not. Some people will say stuff like, Sean, why'd you give this guy a platform? You gotta remember, does anyone even like Neon? I don't think we have to worry about giving Neon a platform. I don't reckon the majority of people who watch this video are now gonna go and subscribe to Neon because I think it's safe to say that we all share similar values on this channel, don't we? The majority of us are into martial arts, into fitness, into self-development, into business, making money, and being normal, regular people, not being fake. That's what we all kind of stand for. Can I get a like on the video if you agree with that? And dislike the video if you disagree, I don't care. You won't be able to see it anyway unless you get the chrome extension and i don't know if this is the day after the apology video was posted on march the 16th and then this was posted on march the 17th and he calls another streamer a fat f get sweater to <laughs> yeah like sweater guy can absorb the bullets bro that fat f holy shit, bro if this was filmed after this apology video you can see that he doesn't change okay and then Okay, and then Neon apologizes to this other kid. I don't know. Okay, and then Neon gets pressed by this other lad. It seems like Neon has said something in the past that's upset this DD Osama. Sir, too, bro. It was not, it was not right what I did, bro. You gotta apologize to my mom, my fans, my... Every... It's oh. not even about that even, my heart. It's just about... It's a, I'm not even in the streets to be even saying my I, brother. It was back in the day. I didn't realize what I was doing, bro. Yo. I didn't realize what he was doing yet. He was young. At what age do we become adults again? 18, 21. When people say they don't really know what they were doing, I think back to when I was 21 and I didn't really know what I was doing, but I still had a moral compass. I still had values at that time because I was raised properly and I also just wasn't a little rat. Oh, woo. It's not even, yo. Why are you not paying attention? Sorry, I'm, like, I'm nervous, you know bro. How I feel right now. I feel like slapping the out you. I'm sorry, but bro. But I'm not. Because what I'm a gain out of slapping them like you. Yeah. No, but I I'm a game from that. See what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I'm sorry, bro. Genuinely. I, I didn't mean anything I did, bro. I promise I'll never have to, I'll never do any of that stuff again, bro. I'm sorry to your mom, your family, and everything, bro. And Ooh. I didn't mean to disrespect you in any way, bro. Okay, so there's another apology. Neon's apologising to everyone now. This lad's on the right reminds me of one of those lads who, as they're explaining something, they'll go, you know, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. Woo, 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 woo. Where's this? Woo, 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 woo. You want a tip for being a man, a respected man amongst your peers, and being able to network with higher level men and making it places in life in the real world? Don't just copy lingo and slang because it's popular. Learn proper English and I know that might sound funny coming from a scouser I joke around a lot on these videos but I can communicate well because I've done it as my career for the last 13 years communicating with clients understanding human psychology sitting down and doing over a thousand consultations in person on the phone having over a thousand members come into my gym and me help them on our group training model help a mentor over 30 personal trainers who've came from my gym I have to be able to communicate and articulate myself and my thoughts properly and you guys know that and you can hear that when I do actually try and talk properly and I'm not just being silly stop adopting this stupid slang and I hate it because of the, there's a lot of scousers who do it where they'll over exaggerate the speech and it's like do, do you really talk like that? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I mean, kids. Oh, yeah. oh, what oh, you don't talk like that? Woo, woo, woo. Does me head in this. This is a bad sign that I'm just becoming a proper boomer now. The problem is with today's society, unfortunately, behavior like this from Neon and then this little kid, it's all rewarded. Neon said some vile things on that stream to that kid, but he'll only get more attention. Not to do with channels like mine who are exposing Neon and who are rallying more people against Neon, but little kids who actually find this stuff funny. Just think, in schools now, there's going to be little kids with that clip of Neon going, Oh my God, have you seen Neon on that latest stream? Look what he said to this little kid. <laughs> That's so funny. They're all going to be watching these clips of Neon on the lunch break whilst eating the Kinder Eggs and the cheese strings. They're not going to be watching my videos, are they? As you can see here, Neon claims he spends over $300,000 a month. I right. spend every single month over $300,000. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. Well, then how much are you bringing in? What the f That's true. Yeah. Either that is massive cap. It's That's cap, man. That's cap. No. Not cap. He's lying. He's being dishonest. It's cap. You, that's cap, man. Or he's completely telling the truth or somewhat exaggerating, but it's not completely unbelievable for this to be a reality. These streamers like Neon, Aiden Ross, and all the rest of them are making an absolute killing from this degenerate behavior. And I will continue to do my best to expose it on this channel. So do you think Neon's apology was legit? Do you think we'll ever see him get back in the boxing ring and go on this self-development journey? Or is he going to just stay as he is, an online troll who just tried to capitalize on the influencer boxing wave to gain more clout? Just there briefly, guys, to test the waters, I am getting back into my training, as you know. A little bit of an up and down journey, but I'm looking forward to documenting my journey this year, getting in boss shape, maybe potentially having a fight at the end of the year, more likely the start of next year. But I'm going to get all my muscle back, get in Boss shape, looks sick on holiday. Get my jawline and my cheekbones back. And as you guys know, I've got my Natural Physique Academy down below, which shows you everything on how to build muscle naturally. Well, I'm actually thinking about launching an app where it'll give you all the science-backed workouts that you need, all customized by myself. There's going to be tailored meal plans where the calories and macronutrients are customized to your goals. Exercise demonstrations, members area, the whole works. If you would potentially be interested in something like this in the future, join my mailing list. The link is in the description down below. It's the first link. Okay, appreciate you all. Subscribe for daily uploads. See you tomorrow.